Okay, if you ever get a Mini that uh, won't start, you turn the key, turn the ignition on, turn the key, and the engine doesn't turn over and you're not sure it's the starter motor or not, um, this is what you need to look for. First of all, the starter motor is buried behind the back of the engine, behind that casing. See where that green bit is? Underneath that heat shield is where the starter is, so good luck trying to get to that starter solenoid. The wiring for it, though, is this yellow, is this black, if I can get the camera to focus, black and yellow here. That is the feed to the starter motor, okay? Now that comes from the immobiliser. So, if I go around to the, around to the front, the EWS3 immobiliser is mounted up behind the back of the dash, okay, like this, and you have you can see that there you have the black with a yellow stripe and a black with a blue stripe and that is the incomer so it comes from the ignition switch down the black with a blue stripe through the immobilizer and back down the black with the yellow stripe okay and that will bypass the immobilizer. Now, this particular car, every now and again, you turn the key and you, you it would just wouldn't start. The garage changed the starter motor, didn't cure it. So I've checked the wiring all the way back. And now, bypassing the immobilizer, if I put the key in the ignition, okay, and turn the key, she starts. So I know we've got an immobiliser EWS3 immobiliser fault okay and by bridging those two wires that bypasses the immobiliser okay thanks for watching